In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who to safeguard the Catholic faith and to restore all things in Christ, filled Pope St. Pius X with heavenly wisdom and apostolic fortitude, grant graciously that following his teaching and example, we may gain an eternal prize. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ruth. Naomi had a prominent kinsman named Boaz of the clan of her husband, Alimelech. Ruth the Moabite said to Naomi, let me go and glean ears of grain in the field of anyone who will allow me that favor. Naomi said to her, Go, my daughter, and she went. The field she entered to glean after the harvesters happened to be the section belonging to Boaz of the clan of Elimelech. Boaz said to Ruth, Listen, my daughter, do not go to glean in anyone else's field. You are not to leave here. Stay here with my women servants. Watch to see which field is to be harvested and follow them. I have commanded the young men to do you no harm. When you are thirsty, you may go and drink from the vessels the young men have filled. Casting herself prostrate upon the ground, Ruth said to him, Why should I, a foreigner, be favored with your notice? Boaz answered her, I have had a complete account of what you have done for your mother-in-law after your husband's death. You have left your father and your mother and the land of your birth and have come to a people whom you did not know previously. Boaz took Ruth. When they came together as man and wife, the Lord enabled her to conceive and she bore a son. Then the women said to Naomi, Blessed is the Lord who has not failed to provide you today with an heir. May he become famous in Israel. He will be your comfort and the support of your old age, for his mother is the daughter-in-law who loves you. She is worth more to you than seven sons. Naomi took the child, placed him on her lap, and became his nurse. And the neighbor women gave him his name at the news that a grandson had been born to Naomi. They called him Obed. He was the father of Jesse, the father of David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine, in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in the marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Throughout the course of human history, and even into our own time, there are stories of people who, at risk to their own lives, have set aside their fears to help those in dire need. They exemplify the spirit of humble servanthood, the humble servanthood of Jesus Christ himself, who teaches that greatness in the kingdom of God belongs to those who are the servants of others. That authentic authority is grounded in an attitude of selfless service toward the smallest and the weakest. That Jesus will exalt before his Father in heaven those who humble themselves for the common good of family, friends, and community. Jesus calls us to seek compassion despite our own anxiety, forgiveness beyond our own hurts, justice beyond our own predicament, and generosity beyond our own needs. As a people of faith, trusting in the goodness and mercy of God, we turn to him with these, our prayers of petition. For the whole community of the church, that we may always seek to serve the Lord and not our own worldly interests, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Christians, that they may seek the kingdom of God before all other things, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are rich in this world's wealth, that they may share their fortunes with the poor and downtrodden, and that they may seek the real treasure of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are poor, that they may experience the providence of God through the good works and charity of their neighbors, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the lives of the saints may inspire young people to follow the Lord in service to the church as priests deacons, religious sisters and brothers, and lay ministers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have gone before us and marked with the sign of faith, in a special way today, we pray for the repose of the soul of Alexander Edenzath, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those in nursing homes or hospitals and those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to look kindly on our prayers and to answer them according to your holy will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with kindness our oblations and grant, O Lord, we pray, that following the teachings of Pope St. Pius, we may celebrate these divine mysteries with sincere reverence and receive them in a spirit of faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Pope St. Pius, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Celebrating the memorial of Pope St. Pius, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the power of this heavenly table, we may be made constant in the faith and be of one accord in your love through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us go in peace to proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.